The battle to become the world's strongest man is underway, and the competition is very intense. Yeah, I'm giving the guys a chance. I'm sitting this one out this year. Ashley Williams, though, is live to see <laughs> what it takes to be one of these top athletes. And these guys are literally mountains of men. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it's super intense, guys. Um, John, I'll get to that in a second, but take a look. Uh, hundreds of spectators out here in Old Sacramento for this huge competition. It, it is the world's strongest man competition. 25 athletes from around the world. By the way, this is the 44th edition. You see behind me, they're getting set up here. They've been doing broadcasting, which will air, hey there, um, on July 3rd on CBS and CBS Sports Network. Uh, now, this is Gabe. Gabe, good morning. Good morning. Now, um, I'm excited to introduce you. So, Gabe, you can competed last year and you're an alternate competitor this year how does it feel to be involved for another edition of the world's strongest man to be here among the top strength athletes in the world is just an amazing experience regardless on what side of the fence i'm on competing or not yeah. so it's an honor to be here an amazing amazing atmosphere oh this is great so they just i want to say just wrapped up or wrapping up the something called the press medley what is the press medley the press medley is a series of four implements the athletes have two monster dumbbells they have to clean and press overhead they have a circus barbell with huge globes at the end and a big tire axle to finish it all off and it's can get done wow. in the quickest time. Oh. Now I'm gonna say something. I I do work out a little some something, something uh, but I've done a single arm, I guess single arm overhead press. overhead press. It is not easy. I could barely get like maybe 25. It's difficult uh, for these athletes. How heavy are they going? They're starting off with 175, I believe. Oh my Actually, god. 200, wow. and then they're moving up to about a 240. Oh so they have two back god. to back. Single arm, by the way, single arm. Um, okay, so I think a lot of people Ooh. at home are wondering what in the world do you even eat leading in to a competition like this? The simple answer would be everything, but the, the more meticulous answer is we try to treat our bodies like machines. What you put in is what you get out. A lot of calories, these guys are looking at anywhere between eight and 12,000 calories a day leading up to the show. A lot of protein, a lot of carbohydrates. Did you say 12,000 calories? Yep. 12,000 calories. Oh 12,000 calories. Last year, I was doing minimum of 10,000 calories a day wow. leading up to the show. So. Last year, you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you eat? A huge glass of water and just start chowing down carbs. Really? Oh, so pizza, I all that, that, like pizza, nice. burritos. No, it's got to be clean. Okay, you know, clean, oh, clean. We oh. leave ourselves about 15% oh, no. play playroom, okay. but it's all clean. Because so a lot of oatmeal, a lot of avocado. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, Our bodies are machines. We got to yeah. keep them running well. How long have you been doing this? And how long, really, would an athlete who wants to get on this level of competition? How long would you need to train before getting to to the main stage? There's no quick route. I've been doing this for eight years. Last year was my first appearance at World's Strongest Man. But then there's some guys, this is their, their third year competing, and they're already here at this stage. It's There's no shortcuts. Appreciate the process and give yourself as strong of a foundation as possible in this sport. Oh, this is so cool. Now, you're from Texas, South Texas. Um, but again, people from around the world, guys, I think somebody is here from Iceland, I heard earlier, and they're having a hard time with this heat. I see a little bit of sweat coming through the shirt. I think I have a little <laughs> bit as well. Uh, how do you even compete when, when it's so hot out here? Well, we know what we're getting into. So a lot of the athletes are training outside of air condition, trying to mimic these extremes. But again, you have the Northern Europeans, you have people far in the South Poles where this is very new to them. So one thing we're really trying to make sure is that we keep our bodies as hydrated as possible. Don't want to lose that fluid under the scorching sun. Oh, thank you so much for answering all those pressing questions. Uh, any questions from the floor before yes. we wrap it up? Yes. I have a question for Gabe. How much does he bench? <laughs> How much do you bench? My largest bench press today is 510 pounds. How does oh that make you feel, John? God. 510 pounds. Uh, like, like a How very much do you weigh? small 315 yeah. pounds. 315 pounds. We were just you joking that it's actually acceptable wow. to walk around and ask people at this competition yeah. how much they weigh. In general, don't ever do that. <laughs> but I want to show the spectators one last time, one last time, guys. They're going to be here actually all through the weekend up until, okay. I think, Saturday. But today, events happening all day um, here in Old Sacramento. Come on down, but make sure you stay hydrated in doing so. Gabe, thank you. Thanks for having also, me. Hey, coming up in the 10 o'clock hour, guys, you are going to do some Something with your wife here. We're going to do like a little bench pressing overhead situation. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. That's <laughs> for sure. So stay tuned for the 10. More so fun Ash, to come, guys. Are, you, the are you on the railroad yeah. end there? Yeah, so we're right by the uh, railroad museum. Okay, very so, yes. good. In the back. Right by the, at the very by the end. river. Yep. Got it. Old Sacramento. Yep. Yes, Ash, we saw your muscles. She works out all the time. You know, she's trying to bulk up. Um, also, Ash, I would like to say uh, kudos to you oh, for dear. saying, I don't care if the pandemic's over, I'm still wearing sweatpants to work. You know what, John? <laughs> Are you wearing your Adidas? I am. You I me? am. But, but let me follow it up <laughs> yeah. with this. And she got the Nobody drawstring. can make sweatpants look cool the way you do. So you look fantastic. She cute. Well, she thank cute. You. All, right. All right. Thanks, Thanks Ash. Ash.